I am so excited for today. It is dresser declutter day. I'm getting so into each space that we switch to. I love going through everything. Even if I'm not able to declutter a ton, I just get such a joy by going through all of my items, knowing what I have, refreshing things, and hopefully doing a little bit of decluttering. So I encourage you to declutter along with me. Whatever you're doing right now, if it's possible for you to bring your phone, your computer, your iPad, whatever you're watching this on to your dresser, maybe you don't have a dresser and you have things in your closet, bring it with you, sit down and declutter along with me because I am starting with my socks. I have so many socks, but actually, I don't know what's going on this past winter. I am breaking through a bunch of socks. I am getting holes in my socks. I haven't bought socks in a long time and I'm just starting to wear through a lot of socks that I've purchased. I used to buy Smartwool socks on Black Friday deals and got a lot of them, but they just lasted forever. And now finally some of them are starting to break down, which it's weird, but I'm excited about because it's dwindling my collection down a bit and I do not need this many socks. So I'm not doing a lot of decluttering of socks that I would wear. I'm letting the wearing process do the decluttering. So once there's a hole in it, instantly gone. I don't care how small the hole is. It is done. It is out of my collection. Please do not keep socks with holes. But if there are types of socks that I'm not wearing, I'm going to declutter those. I've put a few in my pile that had like bunnies on them and they're just kind of childish. If I go to somebody's house in the winter and take off my shoes, I'm a little bit embarrassed. I also got rid of a pair of fuzzy socks that were looking pretty dingy. So I'm getting rid of those. And then we're moving on to tank tops. For tank tops, I have more than I usually do. Because of the phase that I'm in right now, I am nursing. I am still relatively newly postpartum. So usually I would have that stuff put away and I would just have plain tank tops. But I really like wearing tank tops when I'm nursing because if I'm in public and I have to lift up my shirt, then my stomach is also covered. So I have two white ones, two black ones. That feels very appropriate for me. And then my other tank tops and camis, I think I have too many. So I had like, I don't know, four or five black ones, a navy one, a tan one, and three or more white ones. I'm gonna try and get it down. I think I decided to keep two white ones, one tan one, and two black ones. and got rid of the rest of the black ones and the navy one. I just wanted to put the black ones and the white ones side by side. So if I'm gonna keep one black tank top, I want to keep the one that is the best in the best shape and condition. I think I used to wear these a lot more often. Maybe when I was going to work, I would wear them under things, but at this point I'm not dressing up that often. And if I do, I do laundry. Everything gets washed at least once a week. I wash my whites once a week. I wash my darks once a week. So I don't think I would need things more often than that. And that to me indicates that I don't need more than two black ones or two white ones. To a place where we don't know. Next up are my comfy bras, I want to call them. And these are becoming my normal bras. I basically don't wear underwire bras anymore. So all of these bras, I can try and find the links to my favorites and we'll include those in the description box, but I'm putting those on the bottom. I got rid of one lacy one that I don't wear anymore. It was so old. And then the problem with this category, again, nursing and breastfeeding is that I don't wear a lot of these right now. So that means I have a lot of extra bras that I have to store because I have all of my nursing bras that I am wearing and there are a ton because I also wear them when I sleep and all of that. So right now in my dresser, I have like double the amount of bras. These tan bras are the ones that I was talking about. I got them at Nordstrom when they were on sale, so I need to figure out which ones fit me right now. I got a couple of sizes and then returned the ones that don't. 
Now I can refill those two drawers and then the other two top drawers I have, I have more bras. I have my more structured underwire bras. I also have sticky bras and fashion tape in those things. I have tights and shapewear as well as my underwear. I'm gonna leave my underwear up there, but we're gonna go through the rest of it. I had a pile of black, higher waisted postpartum underwear, or at least I bought them for postpartum. Didn't really end up using them through either pregnancy, so I am going to declutter those. I'm going through my tights and my shapewear. Pretty much decided to keep all of that. After looking at everything, making sure there weren't any holes, and trying to figure out how either sheer or opaque the tights were. I have this three pack of nursing bras. I don't love them. I'm gonna get rid of one of them, the pink one, and then just keep the neutral nude one and black one more out of utility rather than me actually enjoying them. I hate to spend more money replacing them because they get the job done. They're just not overly comfortable and not my favorite. So I'm keeping that. I'm keeping one more structured nursing bra in there. And then for my regular bras, I'm gonna do some good decluttering here. I'm gonna get rid of quite a few of them and then just keep the ones that I feel like I really need. I kept a nude one, a black one, a strapless one, and that's about it. And then I'm also keeping my sticky bras. I'm going to put those in the back of the drawer and then load up the one container of nursing bras, the other container of regular bras, all of my little accessories there. And then off camera, I am going to go through all of my underwear and we'll check back here in a second and move down to my pajama drawer. So I'm going to unload everything from the pajama drawer and sit on the floor, go through all of it. I think it's so helpful to pull everything out so you can visually see everything. Also, sometimes, let's be honest, we all need a little bit of a fold or drawer refresh just because I don't know about you, but for me, my folding sometimes gets a little out of hand when I'm in a rush. So I am going to refold all of this stuff and declutter at the same time. Sorry about the changing light here. Clearly the window was not the best angle to film this at, but I am making piles as I'm going through and decluttering. I'm starting with my favorite things that I know I want to keep. My favorite things are these moonlight pajamas, I think they're called. I have, I don't know, a gray set, a navy set, a black set, and a leopard print set. And those are my favorite. I love them for any season of life that I'm in. So I'm going to keep those. I've also gotten a couple of lounge sets. I'm gonna put those in a separate pile. No, I wanna keep those. And then I'm gonna have a third pile that is more like nightgowns or short and t-shirt sets. The moonlight pajamas also come in shorts, which I have one pair of those and come in a nightgown, which I also have a pair of those. I actually was able to get rid of a good amount of pajamas. I have some old sets. I used to buy a button up set from Victoria's Secret, which I thought I really liked until I tried these moonlight pajamas, which are so much softer, much better quality and have lasted me a long time. And those ones that I have from Victoria's Secret are, I don't even know how old. I was probably in college, like they're maybe 10 years old. I have no idea, but it's time for them to go. And I'm not really wearing them anymore because I'm gravitating towards something else. When you're next to me. So now I'm loading things up exactly in that order that I did the organizing on the floor. Far left, I have all of those matching sets. So you can see it goes two by two by two. Then I have my lounge sets. And then the next little column over is going to be those nightgowns, shorts, and other pajamas like that. Even if I told you. 
one drawer down, I have workout tops. I am pulling out all of my workout tops as well as my sports bras and I'm leaving in the workout jackets right now just because I don't want to overwhelm myself going through too many things at once. And gonna start with the workout bras same situation we've had with all of the bras. I have some workout nursing bras as well as regular workout bras. That means that I have more than I need. Probably if I didn't have the situation of having nursing versus non-nursing, I would also say I had too much. I am going to get rid of a few of my Target ones. Again, these are so old. They are pretty comfortable. They're the Champion brand. I don't even think they make them anymore, but I used to wear them all the time. Very comfortable. But I have since gotten some replacements, some nicer ones that are also comfortable, but maybe a little bit cuter. <laughs> so I am going to part with a few of the Target ones, especially the colors that I don't like. Keep a couple of them just because they're still comfy and I like them. But a few of them were also starting to lose support. So that's not helpful when you are exercising. Now onto my workout tops. I am going through refolding these as well, doing it in order. I like to keep these sorted by color that I can find what I'm looking for, match it to my workout pants. Yes, I do that. But as I'm going through this decluttering process, I am trying to be so conscious of my lifestyle and be very honest with myself. I think sometimes we think of what we want our lives to be or what we want to wear every single day. And I think there's part of it that's good to push yourself to maybe get yourself together a little bit more each day if you're finding you're wearing pajamas all day long and you stay at home all day. But for example, for me, I'm not going into the office anymore. So I don't need a ton of work attire if I work from home. Since I do work from home, my work is relatively casual. Most of my calls are internal calls. They are on video, so people do see what I look like. Of course, they don't see my pants and stuff, but I do find that it is a pretty casual culture. So often I will exercise in the middle of the day as kind of my lunch break and find that I wear exercise clothing throughout the day a lot. I wear workout clothing a lot on the weekends, kind of do that athleisure look because if I'm running errands, grocery shopping, I do go to the gym every weekend. I need a fair amount of athletic clothing and this is what I'm wearing. So if this is what I'm wearing every day, this is where I'm okay having a little bit more because it's getting the use. I've also found that I wear the more neutral colors a lot more because then I can wear them on Zoom calls for work. A lot of times I'll just wear a workout top and it looks just like a black tank top or something and throw a sweater or a cardigan over it and it looks actually quite professional on a video screen. And then I can take the sweater or cardigan off, go downstairs, exercise, and it doesn't even look like I was wearing workout clothing. Shifting shapes in millenniums But you're okay I don't have the pieces of your home Buried in the flashbacks of these wicked nightmares Now I'm loading all of that back up in there and I am going to quickly look at my jackets that I have there. I've done a fair amount of decluttering of jackets over the years. I used to wear these a lot growing up as a figure skater. I would wear these tank tops and then wear a jacket over it and then like another jacket over it and kind of strip layers as I would warm up. That's also why I have a lot of workout clothing. Most of this is from my high school and college days. I haven't purchased a lot of new stuff. So I'm hoping that things will just continue to thin out a little bit as they get older, go out of style, or I decide I don't want them anymore. The bottom drawer is workout bottoms. So first I have all of my shorts and then I have joggers and full length leggings as well as a section of all of my black more so cropped leggings and then the far section is colorful leggings and that's where I got rid of the most was some of my colorful leggings I just don't think they're in style as much as they were anymore and I also have a pink pair that is like flesh colored and I think it just looks weird when I'm wearing it so I got rid of those as well
Now on the other side, I'm starting with sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts. This was an easy one for me. I'm moving away from graphic sweatshirts and a lot of logos and things. So I got rid of one that had the Colorado flag logo on it. I don't even live in Colorado anymore, as well as a Denver sweatshirt from when I was figure skating. The next drawer up, I had short sleeve shirts, I had swimsuits and all of my pants. So I'm dumping my swimsuits out on the floor so I can go through those. I'm just starting to look at some of my shorts because I also had shorts in there. I don't like wearing shorts. I need to just be honest with myself about that. I had two pairs of jean shorts. I also don't know if like it's a mom thing. I feel like it's maybe not really a appropriate for me to be wearing like shorter shorts anymore. Maybe it's because I'm over 30 I'm feeling like I shouldn't be wearing them. But for the most part, if I'm going to wear shorts, they are athletic shorts. And if I need to wear something because it's hot out, I typically wear a dress. So I don't know. Maybe I need to look at other short styles, but I feel like these ones just aren't super appropriate. I'm also going through my pants here. This is where I need some serious help. And I do want to mention that this is kind of like the first pass I'm doing of my dresser. I'm also going to give it a few days and go through it again. And as I give it a few days, I'm probably going to share that on Instagram. So I have the benefit of making a YouTube video about this and sharing on Instagram as well. So it gives me the opportunity to go through things twice and I might need your help on Instagram and your help here if you'd give me some help. I am the millennial with the skinny jeans. I know I need to part with them, but I just don't know what style to get instead. So I feel hesitant to get rid of like all of my pants because pretty much all of them are the skinny jean style. I did get rid of a few. I think again, some of the ripped jeans, mom wise doesn't work anymore. I also don't think those are in style as much. I don't know. Style is not my forte. <laughs> so I need to figure that out and go through my pants and be a little bit more ruthless, but I still got rid of a few pairs here. And then I'm dropping down to the floor, going through swimsuits, doing what I did with my pajamas and what I'm trying to do with each category, grab the things that I know I want to keep. At this point, it's mostly one pieces. That's what I'm really comfortable in right now. And then getting rid of the things I for sure know I wanna get rid of, which are the opposite end of the scale, the really skimpy bikinis. I don't wanna be wearing those right now. And a couple of them, I'm not sure, are in style anymore. Like one of them's a one shoulder thing. Maybe that's not in style. You can tell I'm struggling here. But then the ones that are still two pieces and have a little bit more coverage are ones that I really like. Those I'm going to keep for now. Now I have my short sleeve shirts. I am shocked at how small I've gotten that collection to be. I think I have like five, four, four short sleeve shirts. And I am going to put those into the dresser and do a little bit of rearranging because now the bottom drawer is empty on the right side here and I have another half a drawer that is empty. So I have cleared out a lot over this declutter and last year I think I was able to empty a drawer. We are just chipping away at it, trying not to bring as much in and trying to continue to declutter, live with less. It's so much easier to get dressed in the morning when you're not overwhelmed by your decision. And it's so much easier to get dressed in the morning when you're not overwhelmed by decisions of too many pieces of clothing. That is it for today's video. I have to go through all of this stuff, figure out if I am going to donate or try and sell some of it. I really appreciate you being here today. I hope you enjoyed and are inspired to declutter your dresser as well. But until next time, I will see you all later.